What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. Happy New Year. Uh, I haven't said that yet because this is actually the first video that I'm filming in 2022, which is still weird to say. Like how was 2019 three years ago? But yeah, I've been gone for a little while. You guys may not have noticed because I have still been posting videos and stuff, but they were pre-filmed. And I'm gonna be doing an update video tomorrow. I'm actually gonna be filming it tomorrow, so it should be up in the next few days, explaining everything that's been going on and what my brain's been doing. Cause my brain's not been doing too good. It's fine now, but basically I'm letting you guys know this because this video sort of ties in with that video. Basically today I'm gonna be sharing you guys what I do when my mental health is just not doing too good. And I kind of want to uplift myself a little bit with some materialistic stuff and like beauty products and everything like that. I know it doesn't fix the core problem, but let's face it, when you've got your makeup on, when your hair's done, all of that, if it, if it makes you feel a little bit better, I say it's worth it. So today, yeah, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I do when I'm not feeling too good, kind of like a self-care sort of situation, whether it's like January blues, whatever. I know a lot of you guys can relate to how I'm feeling sometimes. And so, yeah, I thought I would just share with you guys some things that make me feel a whole lot better when I'm not feeling too good. So let's get into the video. So I'm not gonna lie, like I'm doing all right at the moment, but I haven't been having the best few days. Like. I'm okay, don't worry about me, you guys are amazing and you're so lovely and I know you worry about me, but I am I am actually all right, but I've just been having a couple of those days. Just like, meh. And yeah, today hasn't been the best day, so this is the perfect time for me to do my little routine and show you guys. First of all, eye drops, when I'm tired, when I've been crying, like anything. I go in with some eye drops, these are just the Optrex dry eyes ones, so I'm not very good at this. I can't actually like look up and do it, I have to like, go to the side and hope for the best. Ugh, there we go. Have I been crying or is it eye drops? Life hack, someone's like, you've been crying? Like, no, 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 I just put loads of eye drops in. Ugh, I will never get used to it. So I do two of these. What's like some inspirational quotes? Leave some really cheesy inspirational quotes down below. Like obviously live, laugh, love, a solid favorite of mine. I almost got that tattooed on me as like a joke, but it's gotten to the point now where I've got a couple of jokey tattoos and I'm like, I these are on my body for the rest of my life, so I should probably stop. But what about she believes she could? So she did. Um, if you can dream it, you can do it. We need the sort of quotes that are like written in like scripty font with like hearts around it and stuff like that. So feel free to leave your cheesiest quote down below um, to make us feel better about ourselves or at least to laugh. Laughing's good. Okay, eye drops are in and look, I'm not crying, it's just my eye drops. Yeah, doing this just makes my eyes a little bit more awake. And if I've not been sleeping that much, this will just help me out a lot. Makes me look a lot more refreshed. So let's just kind of start from like the first part of my day when I get out of bed. Obviously, if you're not feeling too good, the last thing you kind of want to do is drag yourself out of bed, go and have a shower, like all the most basic things. When you're not feeling too great, the most simple things, like your most basic needs, they're just like, it's just too much. I get it, it's just too much. But I'm telling you right now, if you're sitting there with your phone watching this in bed, get out of bed right now. Do it, like force yourself. I literally go three, two, one, and like spring myself out of bed, whether I like it or not, and just like get myself up. Trust me, the countdown really does help. I always start my day with a shower. Let me know if you guys like shower in the morning or the evening. I like to do it in the morning. I kind of do both sometimes to be honest, but yeah, I like to do it in the morning. And rather than just like scrubbing my pits, scrubbing my bits and just doing the bare minimum, to try and get myself in a better mood, I like to give myself a little bit of a pampering in the morning, even if it takes just a few minutes extra. It doesn't have to be super intense, just maybe use a couple products, maybe like your more fancy products, light a candle, do something like that. So I'll go through some of my favorite products that I like to use in the shower in a second, but there is one product that I use all of the time, whether I'm having a good day, a bad day, whatever kind of day, and that is Estrid, and they have very kindly sponsored this video, and I am so, so excited to be working with them because I have used their razors for one to two years now. I've paid for things myself, like it's not just like, hey, I'm shoving this in your face because I'm now working with them. I have used this for so long. You guys may have heard me talk about them before. If not, you've probably seen them on Instagram or social media. This is the best razor you will ever use. And I know what you're probably thinking, because I thought it as well. How good can a razor be? Surely most razors are just kind of like the same. I feel like I've tried every single razor on the market pretty much, including guys' razors, everything, and this is the best. Like I said, I've used them for like one to two years now, and I've not cut myself once. Not once. And I'm like, I'm quick when I shave. I'm like, I don't really take too much care or anything. 
Not cut myself once. See, I use Estrid regardless of how I'm feeling, but especially on more of like a self-care day, whether I'm having like a long bath or I am just having a shower in the morning, I will transform myself into a dolphin from like the shoulders down using Estrid and it's the best razor ever. Like I, I cannot stress this enough. It's the best razor ever. It's affordable, it's vegan, it's cruelty free, like, and it's cute. Okay, look. How cute is that? I've been using the gray one, but they sent over a new one for me, which I'm very, very excited about. Look like, okay, I know I'm just like holding up a thing right now that like shaves my underarms and stuff, but is this not the cutest looking razor you've ever seen? They come in so many different colors as well. And yeah, this is the little purple one. I don't know the official name for it, but it's purple. <laughs> And without sounding like a walking ad, this genuinely makes shaving a little bit more fun. Like the last thing I wanna do, like I said, is the boring sort of everyday things when I'm not feeling too good. But this, I'm like, this is quick, this is easy. I'll shave my legs, I'll shave my belly, I'll shave my bits, I'll shave my underarms. I'll even shave my top lip, like let's do it right now together. And you're probably thinking, where's the water though, Steph? You like, you don't even need it. You can literally just like go and dry because they are such good razors. I'm, I am literally just like shaving my face here. I'll literally just shave away all the fuzz and it's so easy. It doesn't irritate my skin, anything like that, even when I'm doing it dry. And I'm showing you guys this right now so you can see that it fully works. There's literally like my arm hairs like <laughs> floating around me right now. But it is the easiest, most foolproof razor I've ever tried. You get a really, really close shave as well. The little strip on there is also very, very hydrating and it has five blades. And I know what you guys are probably thinking, okay, it sounds good, looks good, but like, what's the catch? Surely this is gonna cost loads more than just like a regular razor, but it doesn't. So this is the starter kit, which I showed you guys a second ago. And this costs $7.95. $7.95, like you can go and buy a pack of like five disposable razors that are like, you know, decent-ish ones for like four or five quid and they'll only last you for a little while, whereas this will last you forever. All you need to do is replace the heads. So inside the starter kit, which packaging, stun, you get obviously the razor itself with a razor head, you get an extra razor head as well, so you're not gonna run out anytime soon. And these razor heads, by the way, last a really, really long time. And then one of my favorite bits, this might seem so random, but you get a little wall holder. You guys know when you like put your razor on the side and then if like the side of it is wet, like if you put it on like the shower or something like that, like just wherever, it might get a bit wet and then the little strip thing can get a little bit gloopy and then by that point your razor's pretty much like null and void. Esther have saved the day with that because they've given you a little wall holder that matches is the color of your razor and it just slots in there perfectly and you can stick it to your shower wall you can stick it to your bath like wherever you shave you can just stick it to the wall and it will stay i feel like it seems so silly to be this excited about a razor and i hope you guys don't think i'm just putting this on because i am working with them i genuinely love this razor more than i probably should and as a brand as well, Estrid are just great. Like I said, vegan, cruelty-free, obviously it's reusable, so you're not gonna add to any waste. They show real hair, real bodies, and in general, they're just a really, really great brand all round. So I highly recommend you guys go and check them out. Pick up that starter kit for under eight pounds. And like I said, you will get the razor, two razor heads, and then you'll also get the little wool sucker as well. And then you can actually also pick up a little travel case as well, which is very, very useful. I always take my razor whenever I go anywhere. Comes in a matching color as well, which is very, very cute, but all you do is literally just pop it in there and then slip that in here and you're good to go. Very, very cute. So if you guys wanna check them out, I will leave a link and all the information down below. Whether you wanna shave your whole body, whether you wanna just shave your armpits or whether you wanna shave literally like a, a centimeter of your wrist or whatever it is you choose to do, I recommend doing it. Get yourself feeling nice and fresh and it always makes me feel good. And I'm, yeah, just very excited that I got to work with Estrid on this because it's genuinely a product that I use every single day. I've invested my own money in the brand multiple times. Um, so check it out. Maybe we can match. Like, let me know what color you get, actually. If you pick one of these up, let me know what color you get. So then when it comes to products that I like to use in my shower, like I said, I like to use some of my more special products I maybe don't use every single day. This one I don't like to use as often, purely because I don't wanna run out of it, but this is from Typology and it's their shower oil and it smells so, so good. If you guys haven't used a shower oil before, 
bit of a game changer to be honest like especially in the winter my skin it gets really really dry especially with like fake tanning and stuff my skin can get really really dry this sorts it out completely whenever I use this my skin is just like glowing even without applying moisturizer or anything it basically just works like a regular shower gel pretty much but it's an oil so it's a lot more hydrating but yeah using this especially with the ester razor oh my god match made in heaven literally like the smoothest shave ever and your skin will be so hydrated and it just smells so good this one it smells kind of like marzipan, which I don't actually really like eating marzipan, but I love the smell of it. It's like an almond scent. And yeah, they currently have an offer on at the moment. This isn't an ad or anything, but they do have an offer on at the moment where if you spend 12 pounds, you will get a lip balm for free. So if you guys pick this up, then you could also get a lip balm for free, which is cool. But yeah, use your fancy products, do it. And when I say fancy products, I don't mean it has to be like super expensive or anything. It can just be products that you really, really love to use. So one thing I really like to use as well is this super affordable body lotion from Superdrug. This one is in the scent Blossom. You guys may know that I love their Blossom perfume. It's literally like a fiver. It's so, so good. It smells exactly like Thierry Mugler Alien. And I probably should, but I don't tend to moisturize my skin every single day because I can't be bothered to be quite honest. But when I am not feeling too good, just smelling this in itself, it just makes me happier. Like genuinely, smells like one of those things. If I had to lose like a sense, I would not want to lose my scent because just smelling nice things just makes me feel nicer. But yeah, this costs just a few quid, lasts a really, really long time. It's quite light, quite hydrating. It's not super heavy or anything, but again, that, the shower oil, Estrid razor. I am like the smoothest dolphin you will ever meet. And regardless of how I'm feeling, even if I don't do any makeup, look like crap from like the shoulders upwards, my body just feels a lot more like, I don't know, it feels like a lot more how I want it to, you know? Like it doesn't necessarily change anything. It doesn't change my DNA if my underarms are shaved or not. But when I do this little combination, I feel pretty good about myself. So I love using that. And if you haven't tried this out yet, Go into your local super drug, they do a bunch of different scents and just give some of these a smell. This one smells exactly like Alien. Next is something that I hate, but I love, and it makes me feel so good, but I have to really force myself to do it, and that is exercise. And I know some of you are probably already turning off, like I cannot be bothered, and I get it. I hadn't gone to the gym realistically in like a year. I think I went a couple of times, and then I was just like, I can't deal with this right now. And then I also wasn't feeling too good about myself in terms of like my body. But realistically, the main thing was actually how I was feeling mentally. And I know it's difficult when you're like depressed or you're just having a bad day or you're tired, but doing any kind of movement just makes you feel so much better. For me, as you guys know, I have had like diagnosed depression since I was like 14. And I've also recently been diagnosed with ADHD and both of those things can be helped with exercise. Again, it's not gonna cure you as such. I mean, it might, but typically it's not gonna be like, aha, I did three sit-ups, now I'm finally happy. But it does make you feel so much better. And if you guys don't wanna go to the gym, totally fine, not asking you to. You can go for walks, do whatever you want. You guys can choose like what exercise you wanna do. However, my obsession, it's only a very recent obsession, but it's definitely obsession, is the Ring Fit Adventure on Nintendo Switch. Ollie got it for me maybe like a year or so ago, and I've literally been just in such a bad mental space that I haven't even thought about doing that, literally in my own living room. But I picked it up the other day, and it's so fun. And you can see like how many calories you're burning. And it's not even about that. I just have fun while I'm playing it. You basically have this ring and you play it on your TV or whatever. And you have to like defeat bad guys by doing like just general exercises. You have to do sit-ups. I already did it this morning, which is why like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like I'm shaking a little bit because like my muscles are like, you haven't used us in so long. It just makes my brain feel good. And it's one of those things that, like I said, I know it's something that I should be doing. I know it's something that should be helping me, but the actual act of like going to a gym or, you know, just going outside to actually train, it sometimes, if you're not feeling too great, that's like the last thing you wanna do. But when it comes to the ring fit, I actually want to do it. Like I've already done some training today. I only did it for like 25 minutes or so, but I'm gonna do another one later because it's just so much fun. And I really wanna beat the bad guy. I really wanna beat the bad guy. If you guys have it, by the way, I think we can play online. So let me know if you have it down below and like, let me know your, I don't know, code or whatever it is. And let's like, let's like get fit together. Mm, beat the bad guy, cool. 
Oh, another thing that I actually really like to do while I'm playing that game as well is light some incense. I don't know, I feel like the act of like, what's it called? H-Y-G-G-E, how do you even pronounce that? But like, I know it's like finding joy in the small things. And again, I love smells. I have so many candles around my house, but I don't burn them. But when I do, I really enjoy it. So I like to make sure that I burn incense every single morning when I'm just like having my coffee, playing my game, whatever. These are from Earl of East and they're incense cones. These are so strong, they smell of sage. These, I'm not gonna lie, I love the smell of them, but they're not the best to burn. I can't quite figure out how to make them burn the whole time, I have to keep lighting them. So let me know if you guys like incense and which like brand or whatever you guys recommend. But I've been loving just having incense in the house. It just fills the whole room with just like a really, really nice scent. And it just makes me feel good once again. So like, I mean, everything that I'm mentioning makes me feel good. That's the whole point of this video, but yeah, incense can be quite affordable. These are actually aren't that cheap, but you can just pick up like incense sticks or whatever for a couple of quid. And yeah, just like burn them. Feel nice and zen. Um. Next is something that you guys know I love and that is my press on nails. I've been using press on nails since lockdown first started and I love them. I could go back to the salon, but I like, I like just being able to change my nails whenever I want and it's so quick and easy and so affordable as well. Normally I wear the ones from Jade, however the ones that I have on my nails right now are the Elegant Touch ones, I'll leave a link to them down below. But yeah, if I'm like not feeling too great, chances are I'll probably be like picking at my nails because of anxiety, I tend to do that a lot, I do it with my hair extensions and everything, and so I'll just put on a fresh set of nails and it's so easy, it's so quick and they just make me feel way more put together, so I like to do that as well. If you guys maybe haven't been able to go to like a nail salon or you can't be able to paint your nails or whatever it is, stick some fake nails on. They look just as good as like the professional ones and they're hella cheap and they last a really long time as well. So I like to use, I like to use a um, like nail strengthener underneath. Then I go in with the Elegant Touch Nail Savior, which I feel like is such a game changer with these sort of things. Cause I get a lot of you guys say that your nails don't stay stuck on or they make your nails go a little bit brittle underneath. The Nail Savior will fully just like help your nails. So try that out. But yeah, stick these on, takes like five minutes and I feel a bit more like me again. Should we like, should we do jazz hands again? We did it last, we did it in a video the other day. So we're gonna do it today. The tan on my hands right now isn't good cause I didn't rush last night, but. <clears throat> All right, next, bit of dry shampoo. I could do with it right now a little bit. My hair's looking a little bit flat. I love this stuff, living proof. It is more pricey, I'm not gonna lie. It's around about 20 pounds a bottle, which compared to like Batiste, that's like two or three pounds, it is a lot more expensive, but this stuff, genuinely cleans your hair. And again, if you cannot be bothered with like the self-care maintenance side of things, but maybe you're not looking too hot, maybe your hair's looking a little bit greasy or a little bit flat or something, this is so good. Like even if you just use this on those days where you're really like, dude, I cannot be bothered to wash my hair, but I also don't wanna look like I have just like layers and layers of dry shampoo in my hair, this. It's great, so it's called the Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo, and I'll leave a link to it down below. I think there was like an offer on that, because I got it recently, it was like you get two bottles for like way cheaper than if you were to buy them separately, so I'll leave a link to that down below. But I'll just take a bit of that, you don't need much at all, and it genuinely cleans your hair. It doesn't just like sit there and make it look like your hair's cleaner, it genuinely feels like your scalp is cleaner, like you've literally just washed your hair which I know sounds like some sort of like Harry Potter wizardry or something. And I thought it was a gimmick at first, but it genuinely does make everything look so much better. There's no like white cast or anything like that, even in my hair, which is like pretty much black. And it doesn't make your hair look too matte or texturized or anything like that. It genuinely just makes your hair look a lot more refreshed. So again, little hack there. I know everyone likes to use dry shampoo anyway, but this stuff won't make it look like you have dry shampoo in your hair. You'll just look like you've washed your hair, but you didn't but no one needs to know that. So next we'll move on to my face, kind of like my makeup-y sort of routine. First of all, you guys know that my face and my body don't generally tend to match. They're not doing too bad right now because I did tan last night, but when I do want to top it up, I use my Tan Revel, which again, I do have a discount code for them. I will leave a link to it down below. It gets you 20% off. So if you guys haven't seen me talk about this, you have the tanning liquid and you have the device itself, which is actually electronic. So you can charge it up just using a USB cord. So I'm just gonna fill that up with a little bit of liquid. I don't need too much today. And I saw some of you guys in one of my previous videos, like you can just use a regular tan on your face and you can, but I've tried out everything pretty much by this point and nothing has given me a tan as good as this from a bottle. It genuinely looks natural. So all you do, press the button down at the back, 
and you can see it gives you a really, really nice fine mist. Someone also recommended that I put setting spray in here and I kind of want to try that. I have to make sure that it's like cleaned out and stuff, but I really, really want to try that. So thank you for that idea. But yeah, when I'm not feeling 100%, you guys will see my skin, like it's not doing too bad right now, but when I use this, it will have a little bit of a tint. It'll develop a bit over the next few hours, but the glow that this gives your skin is so, so nice. So even if I don't wear makeup, I'll just give myself a little spritz of this and I'm like, I'm healthy. I just come back from holiday, even though I haven't left the house for two weeks because I've been miserable. It's very, very good. So I'm just gonna cover up my hair quickly and just give myself a little spray of that. Five, four, fifteen. So I did about 15 seconds. And hopefully you guys can see that, but look how glowy it's made my skin. Obviously it looks a little bit more harsh because I've got these two big lights in front of my face right now, but in person, it makes me look so healthy and like I've slept and like I eat a balanced diet and not just like fast food because I can't bother to cook. It's great. I have hiccups. So now I'm gonna slip on my clips cause we're gonna do some makeup, but like nothing major. I don't wanna necessarily do a full face. You guys will see me like looking extra glam and stuff in videos, but you can bet your ass when I ain't feeling too hot, I am like no makeup, nothing. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with my refined brow sculpt. You guys know I love this stuff. I feel like because my brows are so thick, they can look a little bit crazy. And so I just like to brush them through. Not even like too much. I don't tend to like make them look super laminated, but I just make them look a little bit more, you know, uniform. Like they're not just trying to crawl off my face. So yeah, regardless of what I'm using, I always like to just brush my brows through. If you guys haven't tried the Refi Brow Sculpt, it is so, so good, but a kind of dupe, I wouldn't say it's as good, but it's like almost there, is there got to be um, brow spiking gel stuff. I forget what it's called, but it's literally like, there got to be gel in like a brow gel formula with a spoolie and stuff. It is so, so good. Then I always go in with a little bit of concealer and I still love my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm running low on like every color that I have, but I'm gonna use a bit of medium honey, I think. Let's see how this color looks. I literally have like barely any left on my brush. And I don't do anything major with this. I will literally just use my fingers sometime as well. And I'll just go a little bit under my eyes and then whatever's kind of left on my brush, I'll just very, very lightly go onto my lid as well, just to kind of get rid of the veins on my eyes. And I know it probably looks like I'm using like a decent amount of product, but I'm barely using anything because there's literally like nothing left on here. But I'll also go in the corner of my nose as well because I get a little bit of redness around there. So I just go around like that. And then sometimes I will literally just stop there. If I'm like just heading out quickly, going to the shop, post office, whatever, I will just stop at it there. But if I want a tiny bit more, I will just go in with a little bit more in places that I want to brighten up a little bit. Like I've said before, I feel like I have a bit of a dent in my forehead. You can see it right there. So I like to highlight that a little bit just so it kind of pushes it out. And then I'll also go a little bit down here and on my chin, cause I have a little spot down there and just really roughly blend all of that out. Like that's literally like fine for me. That's kind of all I need. If I want to look a little bit more bronze and a little bit more sculpted as well, I will also go in with my iconic London, um, what's it called? Pigment stick. Yeah, this is in the shade Icon 4. And these are technically a foundation, but you can also use them for contouring, highlighting, whatever. So I'll pop a bit of that on there. For me, this is like a nice color that sort of matches my fake tan a little bit. And I'll literally just use the same brush for pretty much everything because I'm lazy, but I don't want to look lazy. You know what I mean? So I'll just bronze up my cheeks a little bit with that and bring it onto the front of my cheeks as well. It adds a tiny bit of coverage. If you're still like wearing masks and everything, it's good for covering up a little bit of like mask knee. Is that what it's called? Mask, mask knee, mac knee. Just, if you get a couple of spots around where your mask sits, this also gives you a little bit of coverage. Then if I fancy it, I might go in with the tiniest little amount of that pigment stick and just put that into my crease a tiny bit. And I'll pretty much just use this brush for everything as well. And to be honest, if I'm just doing this day to day, like going out and about, I probably won't actually use any powder or anything. But once again, because I have these big ass lights in front of my face, I am gonna go in with a teeny tiny bit just on my foreheads. So I'm taking my Laura Mercier one, this is in the shade Honey, and just putting a tiny bit of that on my forehead. 
a little bit there and just slapping it on basically. Literally just like, that'll kind of do. So then I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter. This one's from Bare Minerals and it's in the shade Free. Again, I will probably stop here day to day, but that's not really that fun if I just kind of leave it there. So I'm gonna do a little bit extra that I will do on days that I fancy being a little bit more glam with minimal effort. So I'll just take a little bit of that highlighter and literally using the same eyeshadow brush that I was using, I'll just pop a little bit of that onto my cheeks, end of my nose, and a little bit on my brow bone as well. It's all about just doing little tiny things that make you look like you've put in a lot of effort, but in reality, you kind of haven't. And I can pretty much do this full face in like under five minutes, easy. Do a little bit on my inner corner, very, very roughly. You can even do a bit on your lid, and then just blend that in as well. And you guys know I love adding a little fake freckles. Again, it just makes me feel like, it makes me feel like I have that look when I come back from holiday, because I get little freckles across my nose naturally anyway when I tan. So when I do this, I'm like, oh, I've been on holiday. I've had a relaxing time. Even again, if I've literally just been sat in my bedroom for like two days straight, I just pop some freckles on, and I just feel like it gives me a nice little bit of a glow, and I feel like it also kind of enhances my tan a bit more and just makes it look a bit more natural. Yeah, I'll just slap on some of them. For my lips, my beloved Huda Beauty lip contour is dead. It's this one here. It's Lip Contour 2.0 in the shade Muted Pink. I have the tiniest little nub of it left, but it is pretty much dead. However, Lois Cosmetics have made the most amazing lip liner this is insane. I literally picked it up the other day because I was like, okay, that looks like a kind of similar shade. And I'll just try and show you guys. I'm literally using up the last of this lip liner here. Look at how they both compare. You guys see that there? They are so, so similar. And using a shade like this on my lips kind of brings everything together a little bit more. I'll just very lightly go across my cupid's bow and just fill in my lips ever so slightly. Again, just to make it look like I've put something on my lips, even if it's literally a teeny a tiny bit of lip liner. I don't even go like in too hard with it. I'll just do a nice little wash. Honestly, Lois, you have smashed it with these liners. I literally just picked this one up on a whim just to try out because this one just ran out and I was like, shit, I need something that looks kind of similar. And the one in the shade Thanks, so, so similar. I'll then just pop on a little bit of lip balm because again, it feels nice. It doesn't have any color. It just feels nice and glossy on my lips. Hydrates my lips, but just kind of adds to the liner as well. Pat that in. If I want to, I'll slap a little bit of concealer in the center, make some like really sexy faces. And then if I really fancy it, I'll also do a couple of little flicks with just like a brow pencil or a brown liner, whatever, and just wing that out and blend it out with my finger. And that's kind of me done really. It's literally like the easiest thing, obviously me talking you guys through it, it still only took a couple of minutes for me to talk through it with you guys. But when I'm just like at my desk, maybe with like something on YouTube, I will just blitz through it in a couple of minutes to be honest. And it's just so, so easy. And there was nothing wrong with how I was looking before, but I feel like this, I just look like I've actually put in a bit of an effort, but it was like the most minimal effort to look somewhat healthy. And then last but not least, a little spritz of perfume. You guys know I am obsessed with perfume. My perfume drawer is like overflowing and I will do my collection very, very soon. But I am loving the Kaali scents at the moment. This one is a Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. And I've been using this for like the past week or so as like my everyday fragrance. It's just like, I'm trying not to breathe it in because it's quite strong. It's like light with a little bit of spice to it. It lasts really nicely on the skin and it just again, just makes me feel good. It smells very, very expensive and bougie. I'll spray my hair. Like I'll, I'll spray anything, my feet. Whatever. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I know it was something a little bit different. It was like kind of a tutorial, kind of a favorite. It's like a little mishmash of everything. But honestly, doing all these steps or even just doing some of these steps really, really does make me feel a whole lot better. Even if it doesn't sort me out like internally, it just, I don't know. They say you can't polish your turds. I'm telling you, you can. It might not be like super shiny, but it, it, it's, a, it's a little bit better than the, what it was before. <laughs> Maybe that's like another, like twisted inspirational quote as well. You can't polish a turd, but you can, I don't know, clean it a little bit. <laughs> I, I don't know, like finish, finish that quote for me. You can't polish a turd, 
but you can let me know. There's gonna be a lot of comments down below. A lot of, if, you, if people just like sit and look at the comments before they watch this video, they're gonna be like, what am I in for? But finish that quote for me, please. Thank you. As always guys, I'll leave links to all the products that I've mentioned in today's video down below in the description box, alongside Estrade, which I highly, highly recommend you guys go and check out. Like if you're running out of razors, maybe instead of going to the store and buying another pack of disposal razors, go and check out Estrade. It's free shipping as well. I think I forgot to mention that, but it is free shipping. So it's just 7.95, including shipping to get one razor, two little razor heads, and then also your wall holder as well. And you get to choose the color, such a good offer. So make sure you guys go and check that out. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time and because we're getting closer and closer every day to half a million subscribers, which is madness. So if you guys could do that for me, that would make me very, very happy. And also turn on notifications with a little bell down below if you guys do want to get notified every time I upload. But apart from that, guys, that is it from me. I am running out of breath because I'm talking so fast. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> and stop. That was a lot of talking. That was a lot of talking. If you're still around here, if you're still listening to me, thank you. The ADHD is like in full force today, isn't it? I'm gonna go to the shops now and buy a picture hanging hook for my new mirror. It's the small things in life, guys. I'm actually really, really excited about my mirror. I'm also doing a home account, by the way. I've also just started a home account. I haven't posted on it yet either, but um, I'll leave links to that down below as well. If you like home stuff, I'm just like trying to tidy everything and get my life in order. So who knows when I'll next post on it, but it's coming, okay? It's coming. You can see my new mirror, eventually. When I get it up, at some point. Love you, bye.